Hello friends and enemies, it's me, V, and I'm here on my birthday. It is November 3rd, you guys are going to get this on the 4th. Yay, happy 31st, if anyone asks, I'm not 31. Um, uh, so let's see what's going on. Um, I am currently visiting my mother's. This is a mask. I've kept this mask on. Um, this was a mask from my job, for anyone wondering. Um, here's a little backstory to how I got this mask. Um, um, my coworker, and all his knowledge and his forebode not foreboding, but in all of his knowledge, he was like, "Hey, I'm gonna stock up on stuff," you know. He was someone who bought a lot of supplies, cleaning supplies, masks. He said, I never know when we'll need it, but we have it just in case. And he was doing that up until February. Yeah, February, he was doing it. And then my boss took over and was like, no, I'll do it. You know, stop refilling stuff. I'll do it. And as a result of his forethought thinking... We had masks, and um, once the pandemic hit, use the masks. Um, now, the other mask that I had, you probably knew, no, I had two masks that I used for probably more than I should have. I used them until they were dirty, and then I was like, I gotta, I gotta get rid of them. This is my last mask from there. I've been using cloth up until they went and said, oh yeah, you know, cloth is not... Well, they didn't say cloth. What they said essentially was that if you're around someone for 15 minutes, you could get it. And considering I'm with my coworkers, um, that's this is now probably going to be the mask I use when I'm at with my coworkers, and then I'll just switch to my cloth once I'm by myself. And by myself, I mean when they go home because I'm overnight or because I'm night night shift, then I'll switch this bad boy off put on my cloth, and we'll be good to go. Hopefully I can do that without my brain going, oh, I'm forgetting, because I have been forgetting. Um, yeah. Now, my mom got me this. My mom got me this, and this is so... <laughs> it says birthday hugs. This is... It says birthday hugs. This little... This little creature. His birthday is November 4th. So a day after mine. So when you see this, it'll be this one's birthday. And I'm someone that really likes hugs. So the fact that I got something that I can hug and be like, oh, it's mom's hug. Makes me feel really good. I'm going to get chicken curry. That's going to be my birthday gift. Uh, so we're going to be doing that. Chicken curry. And I'm just going to be having this. This bad boy on. Um, if I do eat, it'll probably be in the kitchen or upstairs or downstairs. One of the stairs I will be eating and this mask obviously will be off. Or most likely I'm just going to be in the kitchen, eat my food in the kitchen. And just, you know, try to stay away from my, my mom until I put the mask back on. That's what I've been doing thus far. That's what I'm going to continue to be doing because my main fear is... I needed this. I, I needed to be around people. Um, I don't do what... I, I'm an introvert. I am an introvert. However, that being said, I do need people... I do, I do need to be around people and talk to them so that way I can suck up their energy, get creative and that sort of stuff, and then I can be by myself. But the way it is right now, I am with my coworkers for 10 minutes, 15 minutes top, tops and then they go home a lot of times they've been leaving a little bit early not too early like two or three minutes early which means then I am by myself and it does mess with me so this is helpful just I, at the same time it, it's helpful to me mentally but I don't want to be one of those people that are like oh um I'm gonna do whatever I want I can't do everything that I want I would love to go to New York and Seattle. Those were the two places that I originally was going to this year. However, since the pandemic happened, obviously I'm not going there. Um, I do have friends that are traveling to different places. 
I'm not seeing them with masks when they post photos. I understand it's their decision not to, but at the same time, I am fearful because these masks, not just these masks, other masks as well, are to protect other people. So if you have it and you wear a mask, what you're saying is, I'm going to keep my germs in to myself so that way I don't breathe it out onto you. Regardless if it's cloth or bandana, I know a lot of people are like, there's no reason to even wear a mask. Yes, there is a reason. It'll at least stop some of the particles from hitting someone else and getting them and then them spreading it to other people and then possibly killing someone that you don't know. That's what I'm most fearful about. Killing someone I don't know. Because I would feel guilty. Immense guilt and just sadness if I were to, if I found out that I killed someone because of my own selfish needs. And I know some of you are like, oh, why are you making it political? I'm not making it political. I am telling you not, not now. You are saving someone else's life if you wear a mask. If you are going to travel and do all this stuff, realize you should wear a mask to protect other people. Because you may not have any symptoms. You may be a asymptomatic. You may have mild symptoms. You're keeping that shit in to say, you know what? I feel sick or I might be sick. I'm going to keep it in. So the only person that it hits is me because I'm fighting it. I'm going to wear a mask to protect other people because I can't, I don't know what's going to happen. Those other people may go into contact with other people. And if the other people are highly, you know, sick or whatever, then at least it will protect them. And I won't be that asshole who, you know, did that and that. Because I've seen a lot of posts. I've seen it on YouTube. I have seen it on Twitter. Where people, and Instagram, where some people have become long haulers of COVID-19. I've seen a lot of people whose family members have died from it. And then they find out, oh, well, my mom got, well, not my mom, but there was a, a comedian. She said that her mom got it from someone else who got it from another person who got it from another person from somebody who possibly got it because they weren't wearing a mask for Memorial Day. This illness is still going around. I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Okay. I wouldn't wish it on other people. Because I've seen what it can do. I have a family member who currently is fighting through it. Hopefully she does well. Um, I had a neighbor who died from it. I had a, a, uh, an acquaintance who had it and as a result had to have her kids delivered early and then they had to stay in the hospital because they were preemies so I would not I would not recommend it to get it plus a lot of people who do get it end up you know when they get it back again the second time there's a little bit of consequences anyway just want to give you guys a heads up I'll talk to you guys Probably sooner than later as we continue on this November 3rd birthday celebration. Yeah.